Hello friends and potential friends. Well, almost went off chasing squirrels, but we'll get back on topic. I came out here today to go on a little bit of a treasure hunt. Now if you saw my video, uh, Welcome to the Jungle, you know that this whole garden was covered in sweet potato vines when I got home. I had planted slips here and I planted slips on that side of this bed. Down here is where I was growing my slips and the rest of these were just covered in what I am assuming were sweet potatoes from seed. You see some of the vines that are still left here. I didn't plant any sweet potatoes in this bed. But I need to get all of these beds ready to plant out for the fall garden because I've got seedlings popping up in the lab. So I'm going to go through this one, this one, this one, these two, and that one over there, and I might, might go into that one too where I plant, was growing the slips. Now let me try to get set expectations rather low. Uh, the sweet potatoes that I grew from seed a couple years ago never produced any tubers. I did plant or take some of the vines and cut them up and rooted them and turned them into slips and I planted those right here in this container. That, so that is a continuation of the sweet potato from seed experiment. And I may or may not go ahead and dig that one also. But the rest of these I need the beds pretty soon, so I'm going to go ahead and dig through here and see if by chance any of these have any tubers in them. That will, number one, satisfy my curiosity. Number two, it'll work up the soil a little bit. And number three, Maybe I'll even get a sweet potato or two out of it. So let me get you set up on the tripod and we'll get to work. Well, that was quick and easy. And as expected, I didn't find any tubers in there. I wasn't really expecting to find any, but I keep hoping. Uh, if you remember, this is the bed where I had garden peach tomatoes planted. And they produced pretty well for me early in the spring. And then they were completely covered with the vines when I came back from Idaho. So, I'm not disappointed about what I expected. And that may very well be what I find in the rest of these beds. But I'm going to keep going. Well, I got the mulch off of that one. But I'm racing the rain today. We've got rain scheduled all week. And it feels like it's coming in early because I'm feeling some drops starting to hit me. So I'm going to put away the camera for now. And we'll pick this up at a later time. Well, of course, I put the camera away, went ahead and leveled out this first bed and put a layer of mulch over top of it, and then the sprinkling stopped. Now, I don't mind working out here when it's sprinkling, but the camera doesn't appreciate it. But it stopped now, so let's see if we can get another bed done.
Well, that takes care of bed number two. Now, if you recall, this is the bed where I had my collards and kale and Swiss chard planted. And the vines got so thick over top of them that they basically killed them all. But again, no tubers. I think that's what the story's going to be. But, oh, there's more raindrops. Okay, let me see if this is going to pass. Okay, I went in and checked the radar and there's very few actual rain clouds right around me right now. They're mostly south of me. So, I'm going to keep at this and see just how much I can get done because this evening they're saying we've got about an 80% chance of rain. Which around here that means it's going to rain. Uh, this is the bed that I had my corn and my sunflowers planted in. Now the corn and the sunflowers actually produced pretty good, but by the time I got home the critters had had a party, and so I only got a couple of ears out of it. I found a lot of empty corn cobs all over the place, so they must have had a good time. Maybe next year I'll plant a little bit earlier, see if I can get some before I head up north. But let's get into this one. Well, that takes care of bed number three. And so far, my expectations are staying as low as they started off. No tubers anywhere. But at least I got a bunch of those uh, china berry roots out of there. That'll help to stave them off a little bit. Let's see what's next. Okay, this is the bed where I had my sweet peppers planted. Bell peppers and sweet banana peppers primarily. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful in here because down at that far end I've got a nice little purslane bush that's come along on its own and somehow survived the sweet potato attack. And I want to keep that. So let's loosen this up and do a little digging. Well, again, no tubers, but that seems to be keeping with my low expectations. I honestly don't expect to find any tubers coming out of those sweet potatoes that grew from seed. Except possibly in that one container where I made them into slips. But the next one to go, this is the bed where I originally planted my first sweet potato seedlings and they've been spreading out of here ever since so let's see if there's anything in here once again I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful because there's a couple of elephant and garlic plants starting to sprout down there at the far end so I'll be a little careful around them but we might as well get this one loosened up too Well, got it loosened up. Again, did not find any tubers. I did accidentally dig up one of the elephant garlics that I didn't know was actually still growing. So I guess there's three of them in there at least. Let's get on with it. Okay, had another force break with a short sprinkle session that came through and wet everything down a little bit but that gave me a chance to fill up on water. This bed, this is where I had tomatoes planted. The Floridad, Homestead, Everglades, and Praxis Cherry. And there are some remnants of the, sweet, or of the tomatoes still hanging on in there. But mostly what you see there is sweet potato vines. 
and I have never planted sweet potatoes in this bed. So these ones obviously came from seeds. They may have come over from that container over there by the ginger. But at the moment I suspect this is probably my best chance at uh, finding any tubers. So let's get into it. As expected no tubers but I did get the soil mixed up pretty good I can't resist let's go over and see what's in that container where I planted the slips that I created from seedling potatoes well in keeping with the story of the day the sweet potato slips that I created from seedling potatoes did not produce any tubers. So basically I'm skunked so far, but I don't think I can leave it at that. So I'm going to go over and dig in that bed where I grew my sweet potato slips from other potatoes. <laughs> Well, at least the day wasn't a total bust. This batch down here is actual sweet potatoes that grew from the slips that I was growing in there. Those two lighter colored ones, those were seed potatoes that I was originally growing slips from. But I can't complain about that. And I'm going to have sweet potato fries for supper tonight. But that's going to be about it. Maybe in a few days I'll be out here digging the sweet potatoes that I grew from slips. That should be a totally different experience. Until then, I'll see you next time.